Hey, your friends, today we're going to be drawing a skull emoji. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need your markers or something to draw with and some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw the nose and we're going to draw it right in the middle of our paper. We're going to draw an upside down V shape. And I'm drawing it kind of wide too. And then at the bottom, let's draw two bumps. It's going to look like an upside down heart. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw the eyes. We're going to come straight up and we're going to draw two guide points with a uh, space about that much. Yeah, and then we're going to draw a curve that comes straight down and then we're going to curve out and we'll stop there for now. And then we'll do the same curve on the other side. So it looks like straight lines and then they curve at the bottom. Then we're going to draw the top of the eye. We're going to start here. We're going to curve around like this. And then right here at the end, we're going to curve down and then we're going to curve back in. It's kind of a fun shape to draw. There you go. You did it. Now let's repeat that same shape on the other side. We're going to try to make them look as similar as we can. Curve in. There we go. I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. And it's okay if your drawings are looking different too. I'm sure they're turning out awesome. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice, yeah. All right, let's keep going. Now we're going to draw the cheekbones. We're going to start over here on the left side. We're going to come straight down and then we're going to curve in and we're going to stop right in the middle of the eye. Then let's do the same line and curve over here on this side. So we're going to come down and then we're going to curve in and stop right in half of the eye. And my little nose, it looks a little bit off center, but that's okay. We're practicing. <laughs> yeah. Next, let's draw the top of the head. This is going to be really cool. We're going to start here about halfway down and we're going to draw a big curve that comes out. And then we're going to come all the way over to the other side. And then we're going to stop in the same spot where we started, but on the other side. Yes. Keep going. <laughs> you did it. I love it. That's awesome. You did a great job. Next, let's come down here and we'll draw the mouth. We're going to start here and we're going to draw a line that comes down and we're going to do the same thing that comes down on this side. And then down here at the bottom, we're going to draw a curve that comes around and connects to the other side. Yeah. Now let's draw the teeth and we're going to start by drawing a line right down the middle. And then let's draw two more lines on the left side. We're going to leave about this much space and we're going to draw another line and then we're going to draw another one right here. So we'll do the same thing on this side. One line and a second line. Cool. All right. Now let's connect all of these together. Let's start right here in the middle and we'll draw a curve like this on top to connect those two lines together. And then let's do the same thing on the bottom. We'll draw a curve and another curve. Okay, now let's draw another curve to connect to this one and one more to connect to the outside. And let's repeat that same step on the other side. And then let's draw curves down here at the bottom on both sides. They look like big giant teeth. We need to split them in half. Right here, let's draw another curve. We're going to draw another one across both of those two front teeth. And then we can do the same thing on the left side and we'll do the same thing on the right side. Jack, we did it. That was super fun and pretty easy, right? Yeah. Except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah. This part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our skull emojis and they turned out awesome. Yeah, they look so much better colored in. Yeah, we didn't really do much coloring, but we <laughs> used our black and gray markers to color in the eyes and also add shading. Yeah, we also added a thicker black line around the skull. Yeah, and I love how that looks. You can also cut this out and use it as decoration. That would be awesome. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your skull emojis. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.